the president Muhammad Buhari yesterday said there will be no softening on how the government at the federal level is going to handle this situation and he said there are ongoing measures at tackling the issues involving insurgents, bandits and kidnappers. What do you make of that statement from the president? Uh, I think uh, I, what I make of this statement is absolutely nothing. We are used to a president whose words mean nothing. He says one thing and the opposite happens. And I think part of the things that we should be demanding as Nigerians is the fact that the president should come out and tell us what is going on. The media should sit down with the president and ask him what is the way forward. As a citizen, it's not our business to give the way forward. He was voted to, to give the way forward. His salaries are being paid for it. His needs are being taken care of. The president isn't anywhere. You know something, you know, they, it, when the president first came in, they talked about the body language. What is the body language of the president today? The body language of Muhammad Buhari is, is it, it enables the, uh, the terrorists. They know that we have an ineffective president and commander regime. We have an incompetent one. We have a clueless one who does not even bother about what is happening in the country. Yesterday, we buried seven military officers, among them the best that we have. The nation was in mourning, and the president was a few minutes away from where they were buried, and he didn't turn up. And what does that say to people? Even to anybody, even to the nation, it is high time we begin to make serious demands on the president and let him know that if he's not ready to do this, work, please, he can leave there, he can resign and go away. Enough of the abduction, enough of the killings, enough of the incompetence, enough of, enough of the clueless leadership. We are tired. We need good governance. All right, um, Madam Yusuf, I, I'll just plead that the use of your, your use of words where you say things like clueless now, uh, shall, to the number one shall, citizen. Shall we let me come again? Shall we, shall we let me come again? Those things are not insults. They are statements of facts. You can check this. When we say somebody is clueless, the person knows absolutely nothing. And that's what I'm saying. I do not insult. And I will never, it's not even worthy of my insult. So let's be very factual. Those things are statements of fact, and they are not insults. And we should not be cowards in this country. We are all citizens. We are not slaves in Nigeria.